latest on September 5th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. We're at peak season of the northern hemisphere and it shows storms everywhere at this point. Hurricane Dorian we expect is now at category 3 status according to satellite estimates and recon readings from earlier. Ling Ling is a category 4 in the western pacific according to our latest estimates. Day 96 of Atlantic hurricane season, Dorian off the coast of Georgia, Fernand has made landfall a depression, Gabrielle out at sea. Day 113 of the Eastern Pacific season shows Juliet as a Category 2 and Tropical Depression 12E which could become a tropical storm later. Ling Ling is about to strike the southern Ryukyu Islands of Japan and Tropical Storm 14W could strike Japan also next week. No systems are active in the southern hemisphere at this time, it's all quiet there. So uh, the main feature of course is Hurricane Dorian, we've got it back up to 115 miles per hour, pressure 956 according to latest indications. Um, it is still just off the coast of Florida, 106 miles from Brunswick, Georgia now, 30.9 north, 79.7 degrees west. This storm is likely to track towards the northeast and could affect the Carolinas with hurricane force winds. It should weaken before it gets to its closest point between places like Charleston and Wilmington. It will deliver a lot of rainfall however, then it will scoot off towards the northeast. Shouldn't deliver too bad conditions to the northeast of the US, but could be a powerful storm by the time it strikes Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. Typhoon Ling Ling has winds we expect of 130 miles per hour, an estimated pressure of 940 millibars. Excellent appearance on the storm this evening. 44 miles from Miyakojima right now, morning local time. 24.1 north at 125.4 degrees east. This storm will likely track through the islands into the East China Sea, probably won't intensify much more, but there is that possibility it could still do so, and then strike the Korean Peninsula as a weakening typhoon moving inland, probably a landfall on the Korean Peninsula as a Category 1 typhoon. It will blow up in size whilst it does so and could deliver huge amounts of rain. This is the latest satellite imagery of Dorian right now. Interesting to note this shear graph, not sure how accurate it is, but very high amounts of wind shear starting to arrive for Dorian. Not really showing though because the cloud tops are still looking fairly good, so I do question the possibility that this is actually the case. Wind shear however is going to be a little bit higher pretty soon and the storm should start to weaken tomorrow. North Atlantic overall looks like this, you can see everything, 92L in the center, the only thing you can't see is Fernand. Um, Gabrielle on the right hand side there, looking like an interesting tropical storm, not too shabby. And the uh, disturbance just emerging off Africa has a moderate chance of development over the next five days. Looking into the Gulf of Mexico, a beautiful view of Dorian will appear there shortly, but on the left hand side, uh, Fernand moving inland now a tropical depression. Here's a look at the Eastern Pacific and the two cyclones there, Juliet uh, looking quite clear there, a weakening Category 2 storm now however, and Tropical Depression 12E which is entering the Central Pacific and could become a significant tropical storm passing just south of Hawaii in the next week. Into the Western Pacific and it's quite busy here as well, Tropical Storm 14W near the centre of the screen there way out at sea, could be a long range threat to Japan. Tropical uh, Inverse 93W down there near the Philippines and of course the typhoon quite clear on that imagery. Off towards the west in the Gulf of Tonkin still the remnants of Kajiki persist. The Southern Hemisphere, Australian and South Pacific region looking very quiet as you would expect at this time of year. You can sometimes get a stray system, uh, but nope, just from some frontal developments there. And in the Indian Ocean things looking again fairly quiet. Uh, just monsoonal activity occurring over the Bay of Bengal and some parts of the Indian coast with some land uh, disturbances there as well. Sea surface temperatures across the East Pacific looking fairly warm up to about 15 or 20 degrees, a bit less than that. The Atlantic also very warm in the Gulf of Mexico, a little bit of an upwelling trail from Dorian there, but still warm waters in the Gulf Stream. Where um, Gabrielle is, sea surface temperatures only marginal, around 26 or 27, uh, and in the Indian Ocean temperatures fairly warm here too. West Pacific, the South China Sea, a little bit cooler after the recent developments there, and it's a bit spotty over there in the uh, open ocean, but it's east of the Mariana Islands that have the warmest waters at this time. 
Ahead of Typhoon Ling Ling, sea surface temperatures good for another two days or so before the storm will gradually weaken and expand in size, but the minute it's really making a run for strong super typhoon intensity, maybe even category 5, well who knows, but at the moment we're giving it 130 mile an hour winds, looking very good value for that with an 18 degree eye. And this is a look at Hurricane Dorian on latest geocolor imagery. The storm continuing to grow as well, looking like quite a beast as we watch that imagery today. There it is once again, the storm's eye still holding its own, um, although there are weaknesses still around, but convection really blowing up over the course of today. So, so far, September the 5th, look how many storms we've got now, 55. Day 248 of the year. The next name in the Atlantic is Humberto. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Kiko. The Central Pacific, if 12E develops, it's going to be Akoni. In the Western Pacific, the next name on the list is Faxai. And in the North Indian Ocean, on list 8, the next name on the list is Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets the website, force13.com, with the latest. Our YouTube page, search Force 13, all in text, and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text there as well. You can get in touch on any of our social outlets. And we'll have more tropical weather bulletins later this week. No guarantees there'll be one tomorrow due to storm activity, but we'll have another one soon. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.